Humphreys. The little kick in behind. There's a lag in the deck field. There it is. Swimming in. <laughs> Looking for another attacking opportunity. And they've got it through for Walker. The match bursts into life. Courtesy of Nakatathi, Michel Lang, it will dig through, and there it is, swimming in. I just want to check whether it's in front of Michel Lang. No, he won't. Try awarded. France sees even more control. But patience and the most unlikely of scorers of a kick through. Great uh, vision oh, by Michelin, and that's what he brings to the French squad. Slimini, I mean, just how lucky he feels. Canada side again for Williams. Oh, very untidy. But all the while, Brian Comsol had been playing an advantage to Canada. And it's Williams, ever alive to the possibilities. Looking for his second try. The referee has awarded it. Two tries for Morgan Williams. The second brings Canada right back into this game. Optimistic there by Morgan Williams. Another quick tap penalty. Seems to be causing France all sorts of problems. He picked taps again, and uh, perhaps a little bit. Look at a bit of a knock on there as well. When he did score again, the French cover coming across, but a grubber through from Peter de Harbour. He was there for the ball. Looks like a knock on, possibly dropped the ball over the line, but Frank Council gave the try, and that's all that counts as far as France concerned. Rotalic into the action. Little stab through from Bowman. Barrett is on the field, and Miller scores it again. Wow, what an impact from Gordon Barnett, what a game this man, Milner Scudders have it, a wonderful finish. And from the resultant breakdown, Gordon Barnett just in the field, knows his face is in behind Milner Scudders. Well, he fights through to get his second in the space of two minutes. Oh, what about the impact of Bowden Barrett? Sizing up the opportunity, Conrad Smith I think thought he was in there for a moment, but then in a flash, Milner Scudder scored the try. Gippin, Sinkinson lines up his man, but out goes the ball to Herbert. Larkham, chip and chase. Has he got there? Yes, he has. Ben Tune goes screaming in for what might well be the decisive try. Tremendous speed and just got in there in front of Shane Howard. Ben Tune, his 21st try for Australia, and he won't score a more important one than that. Yes, yeah, Steve Larkin, but another one of these lovely grubber kicks he's utilised throughout the game, and Ben Tune really is a clinical finisher, and he's at the top of his game at the moment. Very aggressive and, uh, and a match winner. Perinara floats it long to Sammy Williams, who dinks it in behind. Oh, it's money from SBW. And it is Barrett who puts it down. Yeah, beautiful touch from Sonny Bill Williams. There is nothing that he can't do. He's been doing pick and goes. He's been running, he's been passing, and now a beautiful little grubber kick for Bowden Barrett. We know how fast he is, he's lightning. He's got a brother right there looking on with a mixture of pride and maybe a bit of envy that the ball didn't stop a little bit shorter for him. This one's good. It's almost like a false start at the athletics meeting. Now De Beer, and the kick through is dangerous, and there's a real race on here. And if he gets another touch foul, oh, this is a score. And that is an easy score. Good Dean Kayser came through. It is indeed Kayser. And he has his fourth international try. The man from Harlequins, who 
made his debut this year. The kick and the chase and the try. Well, in case Interesting enough here, De Beer reckoned and saw that the Uruguayan defence was up flat. They had five men up in the line, no full back at home. And Dion Kayser, just a good pick up and touchdown. This is looking ominous now. They attack on the left. Tuilani's there and Nanai Williams! Tim Nanai Williams! Referee George Clancy awards to try and what a wonderful time with some more. Said, you see him in behind the ball there, and then just lovely little thing through behind the defence for Tim Nanai Williams to score. McFarlane trying to cover, but that one straight through the legs of Manoa. And Nanai Williams with his startling pace. And a good finish by Williams, a wonderful kick by Tisa. It's very difficult to run quickly and kick softly. Now what can Ireland do? Costello goes straight to the light man in Michelac. Stringer, Humphreys, the little kick in behind. No! Can he get it down? That's try, try. I think he's got it down. Try it of Ireland. Brian O'Driscoll. Clever play by Humphreys. Good lead-up work by Costello. Ireland back scoring their second try. And O'Driscoll just took his time. It looked like it was in slow motion. But one hand and just plucked it out of the air and whacks it down before the line. That is skill. Thompson drops on it, Japan back in possession, and still they pull forward, still they're creative, looking for another attacking opportunity, and they've got it through for Guadalca! Irresistible, indomitable, Japan riding a wave of emotion tonight. What a first half from these Japanese wingers. Fukuyoka, he is some player, so small, but he is electric. He just scoops this ball up in the air, one-handed, doesn't break stride. I think it's Raphael who's put the kick in, sees the space behind. See Finn Russell just coming up into the line defensively, beautifully wicked kick, but there we are, just plucks it up with the hair, see ya.